It's uh, time to paint John Calvin. And I've looked at a couple of images and they're similar in their way, uh, but uh, one of them is carrying his book down on his in front of him. Uh, and I do like this image. And uh, this one, he's holding the book. So I like the way he's holding the book. So I think I'm going to have a go at compiling an image that that uses both of these uh, photos. And we start with a sketch pad and at four times normal speed <laughs> get ready to sketch John Calvin to the size that it will be on the timber panel and find halfway and start to plot out uh, the, where things will go, particularly where the head will go, and certainly in the top third of the, um, of the image. Now I'm going to go to normal speed now <laughs> to see just how this face comes into being and I'm using a different way of drawing a face from what I've been using in the other uh, uh, icons that I've been painting. So I've that is a, a circle, the, the big one, that's actually a circle but because of the area there's a it looks different and I've put an oval in the side of the circle and I've split it in half and I've drawn lines from the top and the center and the bottom and the I've put a center uh, another line to indicate the center of the face and then I've um, put another line the same distance between the uh, center line and the bottom line down the bottom to indicate the bottom of the chin. So that center line there is the where the eyebrows are going and the bottom line coming from the bottom of the uh, uh, oval shape is the nose. So that's the nose length and the eyes as I expected going in under the eyebrows. Now this is a uh, a method of drawing a face working on the assumption that a head is a ball particularly from the, <laughs> the nose up it's a ball that's had the sides chopped off. So that's sort of what the um, the oval shape represents, the, the cutting the ball off. And then everything kind of fits into place. Still working on the principle that the face has... Uh, these are the equal, equal parts. Uh, the nose length is the same as from the nose down to the bottom of the chin. Uh, the same length to the hairline and then to the top of the head. As John Calvin, well he does have a chin but it's covered in beard. So we don't have to worry too much about that. We'll get the beard running uh, well below the chin level. I've been sort of sketching faces using this scheme, which is um, uh, put up in a, quite an old book on sketching by um, Andrew Loomis. And um, it's been quite interesting. Whether it will work for icon images remains to be seen. But uh, John Calvin, is, uh, his face is so well known uh, 
but I think this method will work for this well-known face. I struggle to make well-known faces look like typical icon images. Now once I get this light pencil, this is a, a 2H pencil, uh, once I get that face in place, uh, then I'll start um, doing the rest of the body and this is where we'll speed up again four times normal speed. Uh, just checking the length of the head to work out the, um, the width of the shoulders and get the outline of that wonderful fur collar in place. The tricky thing with putting this book in is that I'm working, I'm putting it in the in a mirror image from uh, what it is on the um, the photo that I have taken from the internet. So it's kind of messing with my head a bit. And putting in the fingers, it really messed with my head because I put the thumb at the wrong place. So get rid of that and start again. And we'll see this a little better when we put in the darker lines with the, uh, the 4B pencil. And we start to get some of these lines a little more definite and shading. Now because of his headwear, we don't have to worry about ears, because his ears were completely covered up. And I decided at this point that the, he was wearing his hat too high, too close to his hairline. It really needs to come down a bit. Now all of this uh, sketching is rehearsal for what was, what's going to happen when it goes on to the panel. And uh, it makes it much easier to work on the panel having done all this homework. And even though we've done the homework, we can still uh, decide that there are mistakes on the panel. And uh, as you've seen before, uh, that the uh, big changes might need to be made. One of the things about uh, John Calvin, he has a craggy old face and lots of wonderful shadows. So um, we'll need to have a good go at uh, getting a rehearsal for the uh, shading done here. I'm 
I won't worry too much about details in the moustache and beard at this point. Might be going a bit conservative on these shadows, but uh, see what happens when we get onto the panel. The face is pretty much in order, and now let's just uh, darken up the, the other sections, and particularly getting the hands in place, getting the size of the hands uh, looking like they should, and getting the book to work, because that's going to take up quite a large section of the, uh, of the image. So it will need to uh, work, it will need to look as if it belongs and be kind of balanced. Mm -hmm.